The sun is out and I'm feeling stout. What's up, my people? Warming up the triaxle. We are going to go get the Kubota skid steer. Footing guys aren't there yet, so we got to move on to another project. Uh, thank everyone on last weekend on getting me over a thousand subs. I appreciate it so much. I want to give the thousand sub giveaway. Brand new Tri County Masonine excavating hat. Uh, so in this video below, just uh, whoever's commenting has a chance to win. Simple as that. The only Whatever lot with snow on it in the whole neighborhood, seems like. What do we got here? We got an ugly mess here. We got to clean up after someone that left this. So we got concrete we got to load out that come from a carport. There you are. So we're going to what's today's focus is we're going to just get all the debris out of here and start to shape this lot we're going to rip out this sidewalk that's here under the snow get this formed up get that ready to pour pour a new step with it uh the two garages are going to get re-poured a slab over the top of them this bushes get out there's a stump here make this is where retaining wall was there's the retaining wall block there's still some more block while that's coming out some shrubs coming out this mound of dirt coming out i'm just going to grade it from that point so the water gets out of here and then just grade this all off so that's what's on the docket this morning just get this whole thing cleaned up and shaped up This is not working as planned. We're sliding all over. I almost slid into my truck. You see how slippery this is? It just was like, so I'm gonna have to scrape this down and get, it's just frozen and ice. So I'm gonna have to cut this open so we get it like this to get some traction in here.
muddy, muddy, muddy mess. Look at this water coming in now. Good thing we're in sand or we'd be in real trouble. So long story short, nothing goes as planned as easy. You know, oh, nice sand. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll take you one, two, one, two. Nope. There's buried tarps all down in here. So this guy had a pond, I guess. Look at it bubbling out, all this water. So he had a pond in here, like a koi fish pond. I don't know what the hell he had, but regardless, <laughs> machine ain't cutting through the nice easy sand because we got tarps that pulling it left and right and it's not making letting me cut and all these blocks and wood and p treated wood stakes all down in trees and everything <laughs> you know when you look at the job it, was, it had snow on it and we're like yeah, yeah yeah you know it's a two two three hour job but it turns into a mess you know so that's where i'm at i'm just gonna try to consolidate this now that that stumps out Put all everything here just so I can load out quick, get everything cleaned up. I mean, I gotta stop work just to show you this. This is ridiculous. There's more berry stuff in there. I can't, this is sand. It's so easy to cut. But with all this crap in the ground, you, there, I mean, look at this. This was all supposed to be clean fill. You ain't, this ain't clean fill. Look at it. What am I gonna do with all this? You know, this is clean fill, blocks and sand. A couple tree roots. Not this. Unbelievable. Gotta love it. Look at the mess. So I guess we're not dumping it at that set. I'm going to run it to the port. So I'll be a while. I will be a while. Just waiting to get on the scales at the dump. For everybody that complained that we don't, uh, we just dump stuff off in the woods and whatnot. If it's not clean fill, I do not dump it off. And any kind of clean fill, I try to repurpose and stabilize banks with concrete. Black top, we use the stable. All right, back on site. Had to go take a lunch. We got a mess, so good.
and she's raining. We just had a huge storm blow through. Just got that load of debris to the landfill. And now we got some clean fill here, just blocks left and some concrete. And that could go to a clean fill site. And then we're just gonna give it a one, two quick grade off. Obviously everything's wet. We we're just here to contract to get all this out, get this hump out that we saw yesterday and the debris out of here, which we didn't know was in there, but um, let's see what we can do. another hidden treasure look at this mess here you think it's just a nice little berm with a little bit of riprap on the top and look what's underneath a whole tub like a koi fish pond tub that's what was over here filled with debris and he had pipes going up there and a berm going across yeah that thing's gonna be full of water too what a mess <laughs> Let's see what we got. All bound up, bonded four points, ready to hit the high roads. So, a lot better than it was when I got here. Uh, just shaped, graded out, cleaned all the debris, concrete debris over here, whatever that stuff was there, and whatever was down in the ground there. Big time mess. Uh, obviously, we had a day and a half of rain. It's just slicked off. You could use a polish. Uh, to install a lawn, he's getting a blacktop driveway, two garage floors, sidewalk, and then a lawn probably be in the springtime, but everything is clean what he wanted. 
so just quick easy job nothing pretty nothing uh we didn't expect that mess that's for sure oh yeah do not forget to comment down below to win that new tri-county masonry and excavating hat thousand subscriber giveaway appreciated much and uh i will pick it randomly and it will be posted on the next video so don't know, really know how to do that yet but i will figure it out all right guys thanks